Hello, artists of all ages. Today, we are going to be doing a project inspired by the Nazca ancient drawings of Peru. Today's project is going to be a little messy, so be sure you wear an apron or an old shirt on top of your clothes to not ruin it. We will be using sand, or if it's easier, you may also use dirt. You will also need a clean sheet of paper, some glue, as well as an old paintbrush if you have it. If not, you may also use a popsicle stick or a stick that you find outside that's pretty long. I'm also going to be using a small cup. I've added some red and brown paint to make my dirt a little more ancient-like or brown when I go to create my Nazca lines. Remember that in the cartoon, we learned that the Nazca lines were actually very large drawings made in the land in ancient times. And so the Peruvian people of that time actually ended up making symbols, uh, mainly animals and bugs. So that is what we're going to create today. With this bottle of glue, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue into the big cup. Um, I want to use maybe half as much from, from the dirt that I have here, so it's not going to be very much glue at all. And this is going to ensure that it sticks to your paper. So I'm just going to put a little more. Then I'm going to close my glue. In case I have any accidents, I don't spill the whole bottle over and make a big mess. Uh, now I'm going to take my small cup of sand and I'm going to dump it right into this large cup of glue and paint. Just like that. And with your stick, or brush, whichever you prefer, you may mix this weird mixture up. And it's going to get pretty darn sticky, so please be careful. If you get a lot of sand on your hands, please don't go over to the sink and wash your hands and get all that glue and dirt into your sink. Make sure you wipe as much sand off of your hands as you possibly can with a paper towel, which is what I have here on the side in case I get too dirty. And then wash your hands. You don't want to get a lot of that yucky stuff in your sinks. Alright, so I went ahead and mixed my sand up all the way kind of this muddy clay mixture. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put some of the sand onto my paper. Make sure we're not working on a nice surface where we eat or maybe where uh, we have some stuff that we don't want to get dirty. So make sure your area is clear of things you would not like to get stickied up or dirtied up. All right, I actually have a little leaf snuck in here, so I'm going to take this guy out. There you go. And with your stick and or paintbrush, depending on what you have, we're going to spread the sand on our paper. So with the stick, this is what that looks like. You want a nice coat of sand. You want it to be kind of thick like it was on the Nazca lines. Doesn't have to be very neat and nice, but you do want to spread this out pretty good. And this is what it would look like with a paintbrush. So let me grab that paintbrush here. And you want to spread this as best as you can on your paper, making it look like the land of the Peruvian people we have lots of sticky sand. I would leave some of the edges of my paper uncovered, so try not to take the sand all the way to the edges, otherwise it will be difficult or very hard and very sticky to pick up your piece of paper to put it somewhere to dry. So please make sure you leave some space around your paper in order to be able to pick it up and put it in a nice safe spot to dry. And I'm just smoothing mine out, but you don't have to 
do it if you don't want to. I like a nice smooth surface before I go and draw. Now, the next thing you're going to do is if you've ever drawn uh, in dirt at home or have ever just uh, drawn into mud in general, that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to create, let's say, a nice little uh, spider. So I'm going to go in with my stick or popsicle stick or even the end of my brush here. And I'll show you what that looks like. And I'm going to carve into my dirt and see how some of the white shows under. And I'm going to make another one here. And I'm going to wipe my brush off on my paper towel as I go along. So I can make my little spider. And spiders have eight legs. So I'm going to go ahead and do one. Two, three, four, and you can make whatever you want. You can make a monkey, uh, you can make an animal, maybe that's your favorite animal, um, or you can make some symbols of your own, just like the Peruvian people did uh, when they were first creating the Nazca lines. But can you imagine making something like this? in a very, very large format on farmland or anything like that, it'd be crazy. And you can even make little designs on your spider if you'd like, or on your animal, or you can make other designs in the land around it. Notice that you can carve some of the sand away as you're creating these creatures. And there you have it, our Nazca line inspired artwork. Please be sure to clean your surfaces very well, otherwise everything's going to get sticky. If you use a paintbrush, make sure you clean it out all the way, that way your brush is ready to use for the next project and it does not get ruined. Just wash with soap and water. This is all I have for you this week. So have a great time. Enjoy making your Nazca lines. Do know that the paper does get a little heavy when you're done, but these are gonna look super cool when they are completed. Um, I can't wait to see what everyone comes up with. So please uh, share with me when you are done. And I look forward to seeing what your Nazca lines will be. Have a great day.